No, I mean, of course one product can't please everyone. I think we spend too much time trying to make our products as broad as possible when from a story point of view, from a marketing point of view, from a, from a PR point of view, from um, being able to build up niche audiences, it actually, most experience shows that you don't wanna try and please everyone. Uh, you know, when we walk people through brand strategy, two questions we ask is, who do we wanna attract and who do we wanna repel? And so everyone in theory says, well, you know, you start with your purpose and you develop, you know, these strategies and we're comfortable figuring out who we want to bring on. And of course, we're not for everyone. But that's not the question I asked. It's who do you want to repel? Not who do you want to have kind of ignore you? It's who do you actively want to look at you and go, oh, that's not for me. Because the more people that you can repel, the more people that you, they, they look at it and they're just like, are you crazy? The stronger the possibility is that you can attract others, right? We all fall into camps. We all work in terms of like, what do I like and what don't I like? You know, like let's, let's talk in terms of specifics. So for example, I love wearing cowboy boots. Super weird, right? I didn't grow up a farm, I didn't grow up in the South. I love my cowboy boots and I, I really like Justin cowboy boots. You might think cowboy boots are the stupidest thing in the world. That's okay. I wear mine downtown Toronto. I wear them to meetings. And that's totally cool. You should look at my boots and think that I'm an idiot for wearing them. That's okay. That makes me like them even more. Now, lots of people will just ignore them. That's cool. I'm on the inside. If I see someone else wearing a pair of boots, you better believe we were both on the inside. We're like, hey, nice boots. And they're like, wow, cool. Right? We got that thing. We're on the same page. We're together. That's what you want for your product. You do not want your product, you do not want your brand, you do not want your company to appeal to everyone. If anything, you want to, you want people to look at it and you want them to hate it because then the people who are attracted to it would love it even more fiercely. And that takes courage. Companies don't want to do that. That takes, that takes a lot of courage. There's this great book. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Okay. So this is a super old book. By super old, I mean it's like, I don't know, 15 years old. 1998. Okay, so there's this book from 1998, The Wizard of Ads. I got this when I started my business, and so I started in 2006. And one thing jumped out at me, and I've always maintained it. Nine Secret Words, chapter one in the book. Here's what those words are, ready? This is a quote. The risk of insult is the price of clarity. The risk of insult is the price of clarity. If you want to be super clear and super direct to the people you want to get in front of, if you want them to love you, if you want them to try your product, if you want them to be raving fans, the risk of insult is the price of clarity. Are you actually willing to insult other people? No business wants to insult anyone, especially today. People are running around like crazy trying to avoid insulting anyone. You want as many people to love you as possible. True, but a certain type of people. And so when you get to the place where you are willing the risk of insult, so you can be as clear as possible to the people that you want to attract, that's how you win. That's it. Boom, okay, so what's the question? Can one product be everyone? Uh, no. Is there <laughs> anything else you want to say about that? <laughs>